everybody. Welcome to Quartzville Railroad video number five. Um, in this episode, we're going to look at the peninsula section, the one right in the middle of the of the layout. I'll kind of show you the uh, the track plan that I have for it and uh, some of the potential buildings that will be there eventually. Then we'll do some rail fanning on it, so that'll be fun. So hope you enjoy this update. Okay, so this is a uh, tour of the uh, layout here, uh, the entire peninsula section that I have here. I'll, I'll talk about each of these. Uh, four sections individually here. So this is the yard right here where the uh, little switcher is coming through on the main line right now. Uh, it's a three or four track yard depending upon what you use some of the tracks for. Uh, this one right in front here, this is actually a storage track or an interchange track. And the main line, uh, then three yard tracks that go back for quite a ways. And then this track back here all the way in the back, that was my team track for lots of different... kinds of, uh, of industries that can get set up back there. Um, hopefully this will get scenic in at some point. My, my plan is to have a road you know, coming in here and coming into like a parking area. I want to have like a, a taco truck or something right up in there for people to uh, get to so they can have lunch after they're uh, they've been working hard all day. Um, down here, this is the logging area. So the, the track at the bottom here, this one, this is another storage track. Uh, the main line here goes into the tunnel. And then two lumber tracks here, or uh, uh, I think this was like going to be a tank track for fluids coming in. There was also in this area going to be uh, a chip conveyor, so uh, something to load chips up into chip trucks. Or sorry, not chip trucks, into uh, chip uh, haulers, chip gondolas. So back there is the tunnel where the... Uh, the the switcher is going to go in. Let me walk around. We can catch it coming out the other side. There it goes. And this whole section back here, where the where the switcher is going through, this is going to be the uh, the paper mill. So we have lots of uh, warehouse facilities are going to be right along here. And then back here, this is going to be a craft mill. We might have a pulp mill and some chips also going um, over there, being produced by the by the paper making process. So lots of switching opportunities here, including uh, another storage one uh, down here towards the bottom. Uh, back up here at the top, um, you can see I have a, a loop of track and that's actually gonna hook all the way around over here uh, to this shelf and have some more trains running all along here. So looking forward to uh, getting all of that done. Okay, as far as uh, track power, uh, that's that's going obviously to the track to make the train work. Um, I'm using an NCE power cab, uh, the hammerhead thing here, to uh, to actually control the throttles and, um, and speed on the uh, on the trains. I've also got it hooked up to a JMR through my really really old laptop, but I do have that working. I'm actually powering the train right now with my uh, my tablet, and I was working with my phone, but I'm shooting the video with my phone right now. So kind of exciting that I was able to uh, get that to work too. Um, I will be talking about electrical uh, much later, showing you how I hook these things up. Uh, for electricity and get into all that, all those details a little bit later.
Portsville Railroad video number five. Thank you very much for watching. I, uh, I hope that you all enjoyed that. And if you would, would you consider subscribing to my channel? Um, that will really encourage me to uh, keep making these videos if I know that there's other people out there that are enjoying me uh, make progress on the, on the layout here in the shed. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh.